Hello everyone and welcome to day 16 of me speaking my mind about what I think can be most valuable to you. Today we're covering six things, six weight loss don'ts that I see a lot of people do and cause them to fail. So make sure you're not doing these. The first of these things is to number one, starve yourself. Now, a lot of people when they're trying to lose weight, they'll cut out meals, which, which you do one meal by itself, you know, is your really intermittent fasting but a lot of people will skip a lot of meals especially those who are trying to cut weight for tournaments and I, it just, all it does is it causes the body to think it's starving which it is because you're not eating and then it's going to try and hold on to the fat and uh, those calories a little bit more and i've seen when a lot of people do that and they're freaking out about the weight and the Stop eating. It's just kind of a downward spiral, and the weight doesn't seem to want to come off anymore. It's harder for them to lose weight. So, what I would just do instead is I eat a lot of smaller meals. So, back when I was cutting weight, this is keep in mind my weight loss journey is more so for tournaments. But this is kind of just a general thing you can do on your own. Instead of eating a lot of big meals, like three huge meals throughout the day. Uh, I would do a lot of really, I would do uh, one small meal every two hours. So that could be like a chicken breast every two hours. Or, um, actually, a lot of it was chicken breast. Chicken breast, or I used to do a lot of Walla bars, but I think Adwala has gone out. Can't get those anymore. Thinking about that now, there may have been a, maybe a little bit too much. But that was kind of just my how I cut weight previously. Uh, so, yeah, don't starve yourself. And I would lean, lean more toward proteins and veggies rather than carbs. The second thing I see a lot of people trying to do when they're losing weight is they'll stop drinking water, which I think is really, really silly because your water fluctuates down. Water is like oil for your car. It, um, it keeps everything running smoothly. Water also helps transport uh, early. It helps your body operate more optimally for transporting nutrients, etc. Uh, flushes if you're drinking a lot of water it helps flush out toxins and it's a meal suppressant so it makes you feel full so when you're when you wake up in the morning a lot of times people will want to go get something because they say oh i feel hungry but that's not actually the case i think a lot of times when people wake up they're actually really dehydrated and your body wants water you can get a little bit of water from food that's why people eat food and they feel a lot better versus just waking up and drinking a glass of water in the morning right then the third thing I see is a lot of people stress really, really badly about hitting the weight every single day. Now, whether you're here because you're trying to lose weight just as a healthy option or you're trying to lose weight uh, for a tournament, keep in mind that weight, you're, so if you're for a tournament, you need to be on weight at that very specific time where you're supposed to weigh in. And then for Taekwondo, you have that 5% leeway uh, where you're, you can only get back 5% or something of the weigh-in or body weight uh, the next day. So I fought in heavyweight. I didn't really need to worry about that at the time that was in. But if you are cutting weight for a tournament, don't worry about being on weight three weeks before, two weeks before, five days before. You should be losing weight through all those times. But the main thing is you need to be on weight at weigh-in time. doesn't matter if you like, I've seen people do this before where like, a week before they're on a treadmill with the sauna suit on and they're, they're doing all this stuff and it's like when's your weighing well it's next week what are you trying to do today then like well I, i'm trying to hit the weight today like why you still have a week of training left that's still don't do that and then for those of you who are trying to lose weight for a general purpose uh just for overall health etc keep keep in mind this philosophy i heard this once from tim nutrition he said your weight on the scale is like a speedometer. You don't drive around just staring at your speedometer going, I'm going at 70 kilometers per hour, I'm going at 65 miles per hour, et cetera, you're gonna crash. You drive, you turn, you merge, and then every now and then you check your speedometer to make sure um, you're not going too fast, you're not going too slow. Don't let it be the end all be all. Don't let it stress you out because stress, once again, makes it harder to lose. The fourth thing I'm going to mention is I see a lot of people, when they're losing weight, they stay up late. Uh, generally, when you stay up late, you get hungry more. You kind of you snack a little, uh, 
eat a little bit more food. And then the flip side of that on a more mental aspect is the next day you're going to wake up and I believe they did some studies about this where if you get a good night's sleep, you generally have more self-discipline because you're more energized. Um, so you have more, you have more self-discipline the next day. So you can make better decisions. You're going to be a little bit more disciplined about what you can eat versus if you don't sleep as much, you have a lot less of those reserves. You not make as good decisions. Your self-control is not as high. Um, so psychologically, that doesn't help you. Physically, you're, you should just be sleeping seven or eight hours in general for overall health. Um, and if you do stay up later, a lot it, it looks like a lot more people snack. That's a big one. Then the other thing I also, the fifth thing, number five, would be to uh, stop drinking the calories back in that you're cutting out with the meal. So a lot of people, I've seen some people will get a smaller meal size and they'll be like, oh yeah, I'm trying to lose a little bit of weight. And then they'll grab juice. Uh, I don't know about that. That's still a lot of sugar. Or the same thing is um, the biggest oxymoron I've ever seen was people are like, oh, I'm trying to lose weight. I'll get a Diet Coke. It's like, uh, I don't know, man. That's I've, I've seen some stuff, from, or at least I've heard from my science class, classes when I was in college, et cetera, that Diet Coke or the zero sugar stuff is like, I think it doesn't count as sugar, but then your body converts it to sugar later on. I would just say just drink water. Just keep life simple. Just drink water. No calories. Helps your body run better. Uh, you don't need to worry about all that extra stuff. Don't drink the calories back in that you're cutting out from not eating. Them. And then the sixth thing I see a lot of people do is that causes them to is they're too strict with their diet where people will be like counting the calories. They're like, I only eat meals at this specific time. Uh, these specific days, I only eat this specific meal, et cetera, et cetera. And they're like too strict about it. And then later down the road, they crash uh, and they binge, eat a bunch of like really bad food. Um, and they're just, they're just like, I can't help it. And they just keep going, okay, I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. I'm going to die. I'm not going to die. And they go up and down. They never really actually lose the weight because uh, you're not consistent enough. So I would say if you're eating properly majority of the time, then I mean, like I do mean a majority of the time, like 75, 80% of the time, and you want to have a slice of cake every now and then, like that's not going to hurt. Like you're eating healthy, a lot more healthy than you were before. So don't be too hard on yourself here. You want to eat and change your habits, right? Where you are eating properly a majority of the time, but don't kill yourself if you have a little bit of dessert every now. Now, if you are going to a tournament, I would say that you need to perform. Please eat what's on your diet plan. You need to hold it together for like a few months, whatever your, whenever your tournament is, and then you can go eat whatever. But for general health, you guys, it, this is a this is a long marathon run. It, a lot of food tastes really, really good, and it's not always healthy for you. But if you're eating healthy most of the time, why not, right? So anyway, these are my top six don'ts if you're trying to lose weight. And I'll see you guys tomorrow.